Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your month of July reading for Pisces. How are you? So first row will be your finance career, your money. Now the next will be your love life. The third row is tying it all together and anything else you need to know. Ooh, here you are, Pisces. Wow, those came out. <laughs> Yeah, you probably already know the answers you're seeking. I do see the four of Earth. So somebody here is definitely saving their money, but someone's feeling a little bit stuck here at the same time. Yeah, so someone being careful. They're being cautious with their money, a little careful what they wish for. Some of you want something, though, and I do see uh, some kind of mystery and confusion here. Now, this is funny because I see and there's cancer here. <laughs> the cancer reading has a lot of Pisces in it. Very interesting. Yeah, but I think there is something else going on with Cancer and Pisces right now, too. Never mind that full moon coming up. Okay. Uh, near the end of the month, I believe the 21st. Everywhere I looked, it gave me a different date. So, yeah. Anyway, 21st. And people are commenting on it. Somebody said the 5th. <laughs> yeah. I, I think with AI, we got a few issues there. Now, always go to a notable website for your information. So let's have a look at this energy. So finance and career, I feel there's something hidden. Someone's wanting something. They're being cautious, careful what they wish for. Someone's being careful how they spend their money too. Okay, you might know who, the, uh, if it's not yourself, you might know who this is because I do feel there's something interesting happening here. But as far as money goes, like I say, somebody's planning, uh, holding on to their money because they don't know what's happening. There's some kind of confusion around that money or a little bit of fear of losing it. So, yeah, and you can see three of pentacles. See, this is somebody here wanting to team up with someone, but it has to do with uh, someone going down this path. I do see creativity maybe working in the team. Somebody may be wanting to work in the team because um, I do feel someone's kind of holding on to their money and they're kind of stuck right now. It's also somebody here who could be kind of being a little selfish keeping everything to themselves, a little full of themselves, And it could be a boss or someone, a team setting that you're working on. So there's some sort of confusion. Let's have a look at that Four of Pentacles. Why is this here for Pisces money? Yeah, so someone seeing some kind of truth, Ace of Swords. So it's also somebody coming up with an idea, creative. Somebody wants to work in a team setting, or they are, and it has to do with an idea. But somebody might not be budging on that idea, too, because they want to hold on to the money, if this is a collective energy. But there's a need for some kind of cooperation and compromise here. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't want to in the workplace, but I see an idea and some kind of truth. Yeah, to do with work. See, someone's working, but they're keeping it all to themselves. They're keeping some. Somebody actually, this is that wishful thinking. Somebody wishes they would have kept something to themselves or something for themselves because I see someone working and being cautious with their money. But also, because I feel there's some sort of confusion, um, some sort of something hidden here. Yeah, someone could be keeping a secret, holding on to money, holding back money. Because we have, but I also see a creative idea in this team setting. Yeah, we have someone who's not telling the whole truth, initiate. Someone needs to initiate a conversation. Something needs to be cleared up because there's some sort of confusion. It has to do with work. Somebody's working a lot or to do with um, the kind of work it is. Yeah, someone here is like, you know, being cautious, playing it safe, careful what they wish for. But I actually feel, to be honest, if you feel there's something, if you have a, a meeting or a call from someone where they've initiated, they want something cleared up. And you may be feeling someone's hiding something or keeping money to themselves or being refusing to cooperate. I actually feel this will work out okay because I feel like you're, as long as you're working, doing your part, see, it's an energy of. Uh, takes two people or three in this case possibly but it's about collaborating compromising someone doesn't want to compromise they want to keep everything to themselves or someone feels they should have kept an idea to themselves so like i say the initiate is someone initiating a conversation but maybe you feel someone's not telling the whole truth or hiding something here tell me about that initiate of swords why is that here
It has to do with the tower, some kind of shock, surprise, something sudden. Yeah, it has to do with a contract, a negotiation. So somebody here has got that wishful thinking. Now, I don't feel like someone's being fired. I feel more like what this person's going to say is going to shock you. So it could be a contract or something that needs to be negotiated, but it has to do with someone, the way someone's conducting themselves. Someone could be getting angry. Somebody could be getting fired because this person's seeing the truth. Someone's being stubborn, stuck, selfish, or they're not budging or giving in. This is a team setting. So I feel it's telling you to just trust your intuition, okay? Yeah, you might just get something you want, too, out of this. But I, it's almost like it's not the way you wanted it to happen. But, I, you know, the Hierophant is morals, values, the way someone conducts themselves. It has to do with... Uh, someone here hasn't been honest. Yeah. And I feel this person's having that moment. So I feel there's going to be a conversation. But just trust your intuition. If you've been doing your work and you've been cooperating and compromising, you have nothing to fear. Okay. I feel that something is going to happen suddenly, a little bit of a shock. Some of you could get another contract or be able to renegotiate something too. So let's have a look at your love life. Yeah, Ooh, I see some sort of commitment. Wow, house, a home, a family, a reason to celebrate. Oh, you could be coming together with someone here. Pisces. Yeah, see, working. See, someone here assessing. You got someone around you in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, this also has to do with compatibility teaming up. Now, the, a lot of the reading for cancer was about teaming up and working together. It's two people thinking the same thing. All they do is work. <laughs> and, you know, someone who maybe doesn't work well with others too. Like, Yeah, it's interesting. But if there's something that's very similar. But, of course, it's a different perspective because it's coming from you not the cancer. And I see this person here. It's about clearing up some kind of confusion. Someone's confused. And it's going to be a shock. It's something sudden. So I feel like this, you know, someone thinking, oh no, oh no. But it actually, I feel it should be okay. As long as you've been cooperating and compromising. I see an idea that you feel maybe you had an idea and you kind of wish you would have kept, just kept it to yourself and just kept working. <laughs> Mm hmm. Back to the love. Let's have a look at this love. Yeah. So there's some sort of change for the better. I feel someone here is assessing the situation. You know, they're feeling apprehensive. They want to talk and someone is moving kind of slow. Yeah, but I do feel there's something really positive with this. Yeah. We know our love lives and work all often tie together, but you can take whichever one of these resonates. Some of it may not, but this is a person assessing it, focusing on work, and I do see positive change and growth. Could be somebody coming back around, but it's very possible some of you are, you're the one focused on work and you may be moving on. No, you got a King of Cups coming in. Yeah, now this Pisces, this could be yourself. Okay, if it isn't, and you're the feminine, this person's coming in. And I see change. Okay, I see a lot of growth, prosperity, and abundance. Someone's been focusing on their work. That's what I feel. This person wants to clear something up. I feel this is a cancer. They could be anyone, but they have that cancer energy. We're going to be dealing with a lot of this energy. <laughs> As we move into this month, it's only going to build. And there's something going on with cancer and Scorpio, or Pisces and Scorpio right now, too. It's something to do with the Neptune. It has to do with confusion, illusions. Okay? So, yeah. I, I'm going to research that uh, for uh, Monday's readings, for the singles readings, and see what's going on with that. But, yeah, you got somebody here who's emotionally mature and available. And I feel like this person, it has to do with either they're coming back around after a long period of time, uh, or you're the one assessing this situation. Okay, just kind of looking. I see some of you have been focused on work, your house, your home, things like that. Mm -hmm. Oops, I don't want those. I want these. Tell me about this reason to celebrate. This house, home, financial foundation. It's about coming together with someone. Yeah, I see stability. Partnering up. 
Ooh, you got a king of wands too. Ooh, some of you got some choices. I see three people. Now this could be the same person. It's just an energy of someone who's bold. See, somebody has been moving slow and now suddenly you got someone who's bold. Now you might assess this yourself. Okay, just kind of take it kind of slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Someone's been foc focusing on their money. Now we got somebody in that passionate energy. It has to do with partnering up. It's connected to their financial foundation, their house, their home. Let's have a look at the world. Yeah, you got someone who's, th oh, we got someone here soul searching. See, looking for clues. See, someone's looking for clues. It has to do with change. Now, some of you are moving on from this person because they've been dragging their feet. And now they're looking for clues. So I feel like you've got someone here who's, uh, it has to do with their path. They want this to go in their favor. Someone's looking at why something didn't go in their favor. See, and they wanted it to. But you've got a king of cups. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pisces, you're going to check this out. It's telling you to put the shoe on the other foot to look at this. A little introspection. Again, you're going to go, aha. <laughs> someone coming around after dragging their feet. But I feel like you got someone who's really feeling it here. Yeah, it's telling you to put the, your, the shoe on the other foot how you would feel. Okay, that's what I feel is coming up with this energy coming in with the Cancer Moon. I don't know if it's a full moon in Cancer or it's just certain, the moon is in certain signs. I don't even remember anymore. But it's here, it's in the readings. I see it. And I see the cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Yeah, wow, yeah. See, somebody waiting, waiting. It's all about timing. Someone feels like it's too little too late or they need to kind of hurry. This is often someone who moves fairly quickly. But you can see someone's been dragging their feet. And I feel like you've been waiting and focusing on work while you wait. You've gone through change. Yeah, I think you've moved on. And I think someone's looking to see uh, that you've moved on. They're looking at why. And I feel like you have another person. I think you're, you're, fo you're, you're focused on someone else. You're checking someone else out. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put the shoe on the other foot too before you make a decision. But look at this fast moving energy, communication coming in, multiple opportunities, things speeding up. I see a busy time. Someone's in a hurry. Now, this could be the same person. Just because, you know, you get those energies of all the kings with an emperor energy. So right now you've got that uh, basically a page of swords. Well, in this deck, it's an initiate. Someone who initiates are often sharp. It's sudden, okay, but there's a lack of clarity. That's what I feel. Something is confusing or this person's confused. Someone here may have gotten confused. It's all tying together. I see it here. It has to do with things moving too fast, feeling overwhelmed. But this is somebody who's definitely more confident, but yet they're slow. Now, this could be just you focusing on work, taking your time. You may, you know, look at this from a different perspective, Pisces. You see, looking at this from a different perspective now because you've gone through change. And if this person comes back around, I feel like you've already moved on. Yeah, you're more focused on someone who's coming in right. <laughs> That's where you look at it. Somebody, this per you may have a different type. Someone may be not, you know, right for you. But it has to do with someone committing. They want to build that foundation. Ooh, you've got a choice to make here. Multiple opportunities. But I see commitment, marriage, uh, and a change of perspective. How you feel about a particular person. Now, it's interesting because I do see justice in your favor. See? But it's whether someone comes in right when they build. Somebody didn't come in right. Or they didn't treat you right. And it could be somebody wanting to make something right. But it's about your right person, too. Because I'm seeing those multiple opportunities. Yeah. That's an energy of the one. Choosing the one. It could be someone seeing you that way, too. It could be this King of Cups checking you out. But it is, it's really about putting the shoe on the other foot. Someone here is having that, aha, they didn't treat you right or they just didn't come in right. So somebody here is, it's about coming in right, doing the right thing. This is crazy. But I, I feel like you've got a, someone here who wants to commit. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a shock and a surprise. And it, 
<laughs> you see that tower is there too. Sun is shock and surprise, busy, multiple things going on. It often happens when you least expect it. Something is going to end. Somebody, you're going. Something is over. It's done. I feel like you've got someone else, and it could be either of these two people. But you've got love coming in. Someone who's kind and compassionate. They're mature. They put the shoe on the other foot, like yourself. Now you could be the masculine here. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody else, Cancer. But I, you, there's two masculine energies. So, you know, this is the I see Scorpio energy too. But every ending brings a new beginning. Somebody's ending a situation. Because they're ready to start something new. It's over. Something is over. Yeah. See, now we have the energy of manifesting something new. Someone's ready to manifest new. They've ended something that wasn't right for them. So I do feel there's someone here definitely in their feelings, feeling very emotional. Someone may have gotten a little emotionally overwhelmed, too. Because I do feel it has to do with this magician. See, someone who has all the tools, they have all the information. They're looking at what someone brings to the table. So I really feel this is, it's quite similar to the cancer reading. So yeah, if you're dealing with a cancer, <laughs> you might want to look at that. Yeah, the eight of, eight of pentacles for the last one here. See, it's about working. It's about building. It's about partnering up. See, partnering up. Two people want to partner up, but it's about work. It's about building something. So this is someone who has all the tools. See, this is somebody who's ended. Either you, they find, they're finding out you've ended something or they're ending something. But whoever it is, they're coming in right. They're manifesting this. And I, I see a little mirroring too. So just in this area here, because it has to do with all this work. See, two people who have something in common. The way you work, your work ethic, things like that. Someone here is going to be coming in for clear. The workplace situation looks interesting. I wouldn't have I wouldn't be afraid of anything there. If you've been doing your work and you're cooperating, compromising, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So let's have a look at this eight of earth. So what else do you need to know? I'm going to go back up to the love. Yeah, see page of air. So it has to do with someone here who's curious. They want to know something about work. Someone's skills, someone perfecting their craft and skills. It has to do with something perfect. But you see the fire's lit, the spark, the passion. This is somebody very ambitious. They're goal-oriented. They focus a lot on work. But there's someone who's been kind of dragging their feet. They're going to communicate. Somebody you likely haven't heard from for a while, but I still feel like you... Now, while you're waiting, you have these other opportunities, this other opportunity. So I feel now there's this choice. But it's, you're going to look at who, who brings what to the table. You want commitment. You want someone stable. Someone who wants to partner up. So there's that page of air, the curiosity. Someone needs to know. Something needs to be cleared up. Yeah, you got the king of earth. So we have somebody who's definitely financially stable, ready. This person's thinking about commitment. Now, they're also working. See, it's two people who work. Could be someone in your workplace or someone works for someone. But I feel this is both of you. This energy of uh, building something. Yeah, this person's pretty confident. So I do feel they have a lot of strength. They're very confident. But there's something that needs to be cleared up. And I do think it's someone checking you out. They're looking, or in the workplace too, they're looking at your work ethic. Uh, the way you are, and I do feel they're planning, planning and preparing ahead, um, and they're starting to feel confident. This is also someone who's kind and compassionate. They're looking on the past with kindness and compassion. So I don't know if this person said something to you, if you work with this person, or something to do with someone's work ethic. But it's an energy of justice and balance where justice is in your favor. Someone's going, aha. And then there's this passion, this drive, this ambition, this creative pursuit as well. But I think the spark's lit, the fire's lit. The king of wands focusing on the wand. You know, very physical. You know, so someone is attracted to someone, that passionate new beginning. Yeah, I see there's the team player. See, there's some kind of uh, gathering, celebration. 
people talking, someone's curious of someone, who they're talking to, uh, who they work with. And then we have the Queen of Swords. This is someone wanting truth, but also someone speaking the truth about what they do for work or how they work and the people they work with. Someone's speaking truth. So that situation, I feel, is going to be rectified. Wow. Yeah, so this is a person, house, home, marriage, commitment too, I feel. You know, I feel like this is just one of those situations where I feel it's just an energy of this person being confident. But I feel like you're speaking up, speaking your mind. But I, I don't feel, in it, you know, I do feel like I say, it's wanting more clarity. There's something here that that this person checking you out maybe you're talking to people about this person whether they're single or married but it has to do with a celebration it looks really positive i mean yeah this is someone's hopes and dreams see releasing things that no longer serve see some of you could be releasing some people okay possibly but it's also an energy of looking at whether a situation serves you i feel like you don't hold on to a lot of baggage or um it's just an energy of letting something go yeah, this is really positive, but look at that again. See two people who are very confident. See, confident with the work, their skills, what they bring to the table. So it's an energy of working, working at home. There's something a person wants to know. Yeah, we got a person longing for love. Someone's longing for love. I feel there's something to do with this. It could be someone wanting to know if someone's married or had children. There's questions. There's just going to be a lot of talking with this love interest. But this work situation is tying into it. Tell me about strength. Yeah, see, somebody sees someone strong. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Again, the power couple. This is two people who it has to do with partnering up and working together, teaming up. Now, I don't know if you're both single parents or it's just an energy of someone longing for love. See, I feel someone's reminiscing about something to do with work. They want to talk. It's almost like somebody wants to know your past, your history, your childhood. They want to know things. Suddenly someone wants to discover things about you. <laughs> yeah, I feel <laughs> this is interesting. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles up here. There we go. Ooh, that came out. Yeah, the emperor. So this is an emperor, business owner or someone who's just stable. They have a house, a home. They have everything they need, but they don't have love. It's all tying together. This has to do with change, change for the better. Oh, this could have to do with moving, relocating. But you can see this person. The fire is lit, the spark. There's some kind of spark. It's like a little twinkle in someone's eye, too. <laughs> someone wants to know your history, your childhood. They want to know about you. Now you might have you might know this person or there's something to do with children, but look at family, family and friends. See, I feel like I say it has to do with someone's hopes and dreams, but I feel, you know, somebody is releasing things, letting go of things that no longer serve, or the situation no longer serves. So it have could have to do with letting go of some people. Yeah, some people here. But yet I feel there's such good news to do with work or people that you work with. Yeah, you may be talking about people that you work with or who they work with because it looks like it. It has to do with being confident, being able to be confident to speak the truth, the feminine. Mm -hmm. could, like I say, it could be single parent energy. Some of you feminines here, right? Single parent, children, uh, focusing on work and children, always work. And then we have the fool. So it's an energy of someone here who's taking a leap of faith. See, someone's looking, reflecting on past. And they're ready to go down this path. And they're ready to take a leap of faith. I see an Aries energy, the masculine. Mm -hmm. For some of you Pisces, yeah, wheel of fortune, the timing is right. It has to do with the timing being right, the timings now. This person's just going for it. They're pushing through, but there's things they want to know. This is the energy of gathering all the information, the things they want to know. It has to do with this person who's curious, and it has to do with work and money. So let's have to do with the Queen of Pentacles. This is someone, of course, stable. They take care of themselves. Uh, it's a person who's independent. Yeah, see, it's an energy of being patient, investing. 
Some of you are going to be patient. You're hoping something pays off. It will. They also need to be patient because I do feel this is someone who often moves very quick. But it looks like someone here who's been focusing on their work. Yeah, you got love coming in. I mean, there's love here. The lovers, a bond, a connection between two people. Two people loving what they do, but I feel like you're both going to team up. It's an energy of the couple that work together, stay together energy. Someone's looking at someone's skills. They're looking to see what they have because this is two people whose skills, they come together with their skills, the things that you know that you're good at and you come together and you build something else. But I still feel there's an energy of this other person. So some of you do have a choice here. You're going to choose wisely. If you want love, you want to choose that person who's full of love, kind and compassionate. Yeah, trust your intuition. You already know the choice you're going to make. You're going to go for the person who, you know, comes in right, treats you right. Somebody could be a single parent or somebody who loves children. So, and this could be just one person where they come in fast. It's overwhelming. You're busy. But I feel they want to know things. They're going to be questioning but about something that ended. I feel they want to clear something up about something that already ended. It's going to come as a shock what they tell you. Somebody has feelings for you. They're coming in right. They're doing the right thing. This is crazy. Yeah, it's a person here, like I say, taking a leap of faith. I don't know if you knew this person a long time ago, or you have some history, maybe another neighborhood or the friends from the past where you've moved on, let them go. But this is interesting to do with work, the people you work with, or you want to know about the people they worked with, or there's just this social circle. But they're they're going for it. They're pushing through every, they're just going for it. They're just being bold. They see this going in their favor. Now they have all the, the tools, the, they, have, they have all the information to manifest this. They're trying to manifest commitment to marriage. They're putting that best foot forward. They're building the foundation. See, something happened here where there was no foundation. So someone was in a relationship. They weren't married, or but there was a commitment and something happened. So you're going to get truth and you're going to want to know truth. But it has to do with being fair. See? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's saying, Pisces, high priestess, trust your intuition. You already know someone loves you. Someone has feelings for you. Okay. Yeah. See, it has to do with commitment. This person's going to commit. But I also think you know that someone here, there's something to do with this social circle. Somebody here wasn't faithful. So there's that situation going on because there's a few things going on. But you have faith in yourself to make the right choice. The Queen of Swords here, having faith in yourself to choose. And you are, you want someone stable. You're going to choose that King of Pentacles. Of course you are. Because <laughs> I feel like you got someone who's just focused on that passion. They come in out of the blue when you least expect it. That's not, I feel like you're going to end that. Because it's someone who I feel comes back around after a long period of time and then they don't want to commit. So I see that in your love life. But this is the start of something new right here. And I see this is something that's going to change your whole world. This is a beautiful energy and you, I feel like you have changed the way you're um, conducting yourself too. But this is two people making agreement. I do see contracts negotiation up there. The Hierophant's also up here too. But I, I and I do see often too, two people coming together, um, negotiating some kind of an agreement. And some of you possibly a prenup. You might want a prenup or they want. It depends what you have and what you're bringing to the table. But I feel this is really good. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, the timing's right. You have some kind of good luck. I feel some of you are just going to be at the right place in the right time too. That's another interesting, even with work, I feel. But that person is ready to take that leap of faith. They're going to be bold. That's why I kind of feel like it's really just this one person for some of you. Pushing through that fear, coming in quick. They're in a hurry before it's too late. <laughs> it almost feels like somebody rushing. It's like a like a romance movie where they rush in at the last minute when two people are about to get married and go, stop, stop, please stop. I have everything you need. I have some information. <laughs> End it. <laughs> I just get that vibe that this person's in such a hurry. Take care and we'll see you soon.